Hello everyone, this is Sai Soldier here. Welcome back to our Let's Play The Last Federation. We are currently, I guess, working to try to improve the relations between some of these various factions that we are hoping to work into some sort of federation for us as soon as that option becomes available. At the moment, it's not actually available to us. But, uh... One thing I'm noting here is that the Actuan economy is nightmarish. And we might want to work on improving that for them a little bit. And, of course, we'll gain some credits for that. Which would come in quite handy. Ooh. Well, on the other hand, one thing I just noticed here. We've got another pirate base to take out. Help destroy a pirate base. Ooh, wait. Search a nearby ice belt for hydro technology? I'll acquire two new special abilities. I like that. Let's do that. Hydro automatons. Okay, so we got some hydro automations. Do I actually... It says joint mission. I don't see that I have any friendly people here. I thought the Thraxians might join me on this, but apparently not. Apparently we're just going to have to fight these guys ourselves here. And... Can I even hit... I can't hit him with some mass drivers. Uh, it says spread shot's going to be the best thing, but... I'm not entirely sure that I believe that. It's going to... go... Well, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Try to keep that guy in range. While also avoiding any fire that they're trying to hit me with. Let's just slow down a bit. Holy crap. I didn't entirely mean to turn around and go back that way I came. damage this guy taken uh, I want to kind of focus on one guy here not really spread my shots all over the place we should be able to take these guys out pretty easily I think this doesn't look like it's gonna be terribly difficult oops Okay, let's focus on him now. Keep shooting at this guy. We need to dock with hydro technology. I mean, I suppose I don't even really need to kill all these people, possibly. Kind of a shame we're destroying all our hydro technology. <laughs> what a waste. Nothing will be dead soon. Well, you know what? I can go ahead and crank up the weapons or the engines here. I can outrun these guys. Go ahead and dock with this stuff long before they ever catch up to me. What is this? Hydro automations? Oh, 
Okay. Those are probably gonna hit pretty damn hard. Um, let's go ahead and crank up our power a bit here. Let's focus on destroying that thing. All right, we've got uh, mercenary hotline. I don't need that. Anti swarm missiles. That might be what we want, but I want to uh, finish killing that thing first. Okay, how about the anti swarm missiles? Okay. May have to kill all these guys. Doesn't seem like we're gonna have a terribly difficult time doing that though. Uh. Let's kill that. I don't want to just stand there and take all their damage, though. I'd rather fly around and avoid it as much as possible. Okay. I'll tell you what, we're, like, super powerful here. Let's just crank up our freaking weapons. Let's just annihilate that guy as fast as possible. All right, so we can hit Q to stay put. Hit Q, let's put it on auto fire. That way we don't have to keep doing all that every time. So just keep doing this and we'll... Okay, so we docked with all of them, apparently. All right, we used the signal jammer one time. We acquired a new special ability, armor piercing and emergency shield repairs. Well, that's good. Uh, let's go to cu uh, flagship customization here. So, for our weapons, oh, we have some new options here, apparently. Okay, we've got armor piercing, able to be auto-dodged by the maneuvering jets on smaller craft, but very powerful and travels through entire lines of ships and obstacles. Well, that's kind of cool. Then we got the disruptor, not the strongest weapon by any stretch, but its laser bursts are able to strike straight through enemy shields, damaging both the shields and the hull at the same time. Some shielded ships have laser refractors that make this still largely ineffective, though. I think I want to switch to the armor piercing. Alright, so we've got polarity corruption. Let's consume lasers. Each laser shot that hits your ship causes your ship to gain an attack bonus. It lasts for the rest of the battle. Does not reduce the damage caused. Blah, blah, blah. Disable gravity systems. Triple range. Gives you and allied ships. Oh, I kind of like that one. Alright, the signal jammer. Causes all tracking... Weapons from any side to lose the ability to track targets for about 15 turns. Uh, what's the stunner? Stuns all small and medium ship, yours and the enemies, within a range of 800 of your flagship for 10 turns. They continue moving on their current course and lose the ability to fire their guns. That actually seems... Somewhat useful. Let's go with the stunner. 
And a swarm missile, I can live with that. Uh Let's go with a stunner again. Alright, we have Operation Horn. Deploy a squadron of two Force Ram ships as an escort. I like that. Special ability, eject garbage, dump a cloud of junk out of your flagship, providing some quick cover. Emergency shield repairs can only be used when you have at least 10% hold, damages your hold by 5%, and brings your shields up to full power? Well, I like that. Okay. Yeah, that's a an improvement anyways. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and do this uh, pirate base mission, I think. So let's go ahead and take this action. Alright. Interactive Hydro Technology. Oh, let's go ahead and turn that thing on real quick, like. Okay, I don't know exactly what just happened. Orbital Bomber. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and adjust our systems here. Ah, right clicking lowers it and left clicking raises it. I wasn't exactly sure how that worked until right now. Okay. We want to kill him. Let's concentrate on that. We might end up with a lot more pirates in the game now that, uh, more races are spacefaring. I would imagine that would have an effect on the amount of pirates that you have. Okay. We'll have him dead shortly. Actually, let's try our new armor piercing round, shall we? I'm entirely sure that does more. Does it do more or does it do less? Uh, says the spread shot. The armor piercing actually doesn't do a whole lot. It's not all that terribly impressive. Great if we could actually hit this guy, though. Tell you what, let's go ahead and deploy some escorts here. I like it. That kind of almost makes me wish I had selected the uh, Skylaxians, I think it was. I think they're the ones that had the S, uh, a whole bunch of operations ability. That way you could just deploy a whole bunch of freaking fighters and crap. Uh, let's set it on auto fire. Turn around. I think that might be something we can pick up. Oh, apparently, apparently we just won this freaking battle. Alliances in general and federations in particular. It's time to start thinking about the federation at last. New political deals relating to the federation have now opened up with every race. Some races are easier to get into the federation. The Peltians and the Andors are very easy. The Skylaxians are pretty straightforward. The main requirements with those three is high enough influence rating with the races involved. But nothing's ever that simple. A lot of the other races are much more resistant, and if you have bad influence with any race, 
You may never be able to directly convince them. If that's the case, then you have only two options. Make sure that that race gets exterminated, or use another race to backdoor them into the Federation. The Scalaxians, uh, Acutians, and the Borings are excellent for convincing other races to join, under the right circumstances. Uh, special circumstances can also lead to the formation of a Federation. For instance, if the Burlists, Actulians, and Thoraxians all really like you, you convince them to make a Federation, but they may then betray you in return, so watch out. Or if the combined might of the Federation military is strong enough, you can convince the Burlists to join based on, we'll call it respect. Create a strong Federation. You need over 50 influence. Influence costs 2,000 leverage. Uh, bear in mind that it does matter which government you approach. This same deal that was so cheap when approaching the Andors to form a federation with the Peltians is not something you can afford with the Peltian voting proxies on the other end of the bargain. Your influence with the government you are directly brokering with is a big factor. Uh, well, hey, it still doesn't sound too bad. I repeat, nothing's ever that simple. Once the Federation is formed, resistance and resentment immediately start building against it. The Anti-Federation Alliance, or AFA, will start gathering demonstrators, some of whom eventually turn out to be insurgents. You and the Federation government can hunt them down. But this still doesn't always go over well with the enemy governments, and the AFA sympathizers even crop up within the Federation itself. More bad news. The Federation is not remotely the only kind of alliance that can form. At least half a dozen distinct kinds of hostile alliances may form if the situation progresses a certain way. I'd tell you, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. Suffice it to say, once a hostile alliance forms, it must be destroyed. One way or another, everyone f once one forms, details on what conditions must be met to break it are revealed. Remember, your goal is for a federation that unites the solar system until all the surviving races and planets are members. Your, won't, your work won't be incomplete. Uh, there's no way to accomplish this, or no one way to accomplish this. It may be a bloodbath, or it may be a very behind-the-scenes political. All eight races may survive, or as few as one may actually wind up living. Whatever gets the job done. All right, so we took the contract to destroy the pirate base. We gained more influence with some people. Why has that gone to approved? Seems like we should, seems like it was higher than that before. I don't know. Let's run down here and just see if by chance, maybe we can form some kind of federation. Doesn't look like it. Federation deals. Holy crap, that's going to cost a lot. Create federation with other race. Yeah, that's a little more expensive than what I was expecting. So anyways, these guys are... Respected with the Thoraxians, acquainted with the Borine, Friendly with the Actuan. It would be nice to improve their relations with the Boring a bit. Let's double check that with the... Okay, they're friendly with pretty much everybody. And then we have the Actuan. Let's check them out. They're friendly with everybody, so we're good. Uh, the Boring, on the other hand, they're still neutral with the Actuan. Let's go ahead and take a look at I think we want to take a look at improving relations between the Boring and the Actuan. Yeah, friendly axe. 
We're going to do improve relations with the race. Actually, you know what? Forget about that. We're going to need a lot more credits to uh, start forming this federation. So I think probably this is going to be a good spot to go ahead and end this video here. So uh, we'll pick it up on the next one. Probably what we're going to do is go ahead and run some uh, economic improvement uh, joint missions with these guys. And gain some credits that we can spend. And... I don't know if we want to immediately start looking at forming a federation or just kind of keep improving stuff with these guys. But as long as I can keep these guys from fighting each other, that would definitely be a step in the right direction. They can fight everybody else as much as they want, but these are the four races I'm wanting to keep as uh, potential members of our federation. So, uh, As always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.